Welcome back student. That is uh, our third session of this week. And uh, now we are going to discuss about the trademark in pigments and uh, the further topic is the cyber spotting. Trademark that is a very, uh, in I guess in a week uh, 10, maybe the 11 trademark, what is the definition of trademarks and trademark and trade secret and services that and the deal uh, we are discussing. But here in a form of uh, intellectual property issues, look like a reverse engineering uh, and uh, competitive intelligence plagiarism we are just uh, create a sense about the uh, as a form of an issue again the trademark by definition and trademark infringement uh, already know, know that is a violation the exclusive right uh, attached to the trademark without the authorization of the trademark owner of any lessons provided that such authorization was within the scope of the lessons. In other words, unauthorized use of a trademark is illegal because you have uh, you are uh, not an authorized person, but you are using the some uh, logo, some word, some science special uh, uh, science logo that uh, formula uh, anything that are basically are registered as a trademark of any company, but you are a uh copy it copying it and uh, you are an unauthorized person and using this that will be uh, illegal okay and uh, deception can be also be play a road trademark infringement as well it will be a trademark infringement if you are a violation it okay likelihood the confusion exists between the trademarks when the uh mark are uh, trademarks are so similar and the goods and the services for which they are used are so related that consumer would mistakenly believe they can uh, they come from the same source okay um, that's the one of the issue in uh, trademark infringement because the people are basically using the same thing and same maybe the quality maybe the quality but the same packing materials uh, some really related to the you know uh, name naming convention and the same that creating a problem for the user and uh, they are basically considered that the this product will become on the same source and using it but the main company get a loss because that is a they uh, not give the permission to the other people okay that's the trademark and fragments and uh, further we will discuss about uh, the server spotting okay what is the cyber scouting student? Cyber scouting is a basically act of registering or uh, using a domain name to uh, profit from a trademark, corporate name, or a personal name of an individual. Again, the cyber scouting is referred to an act of a registering. You are going to be registered, okay, or using a domain name. Why you are using the domain name, the same domain name, just for to profit from the trademark corporate name or a personal name of an individual. In this concept, context of a cyber scouting definition, domain scouter scouting take place as either a form of a ex, uh, extortion or as an attempt to steal business from rival. Same, if you are using the same domain scouting and that's of, uh, basically category involved the domain scouting, Okay, it will be uh, just for the steal for the business for the rival. It is a, a possible, however, that a domain was registered in a good faith. In this case, it would be not be cyber scouting. If faithfully you are basically registered it, then it will be, uh, would be a cyber, not will be a cyber scouting. In other words, domain scouting does not occur when a valid business name is registered without any ill attention even if this name is already in a use okay that's a, is a not a part of a uh, cyber scouting now i am discussing uh, some illegal law and uh, some law and uh, why the cyber scouting is considered as an illegal and what the example of it okay yes cyber scouting uh, okay question is that is cyber scouting is illegal or not what is your mind if you are using the same name of a company, just some uh, spelling uh, change, and uh, even though uh, uh, concept and uh, the not maybe the not the meaning is the same, but you are just uh, using same 
sequence of words a uh, little bit will be changed is it right if the domain name are look like a same it will be a right or not is cyber squatting is a uh, illegal or not yes it is a illegal cyber squatting is a illegal why passed in 1999 anti cyber sporting consumer protection act will be passed that enable agreed agreed uh, parties to use the court system to go after the people for registering uh, and uh, trafficking in or using a domain name uh, confusingly uh, similar to or uh, uh, deleted of uh, Paid or a personal name that is all are basically anti cyber sporting consumer code. And that rule are, will be law will be uh, will be the applying type of cyber sporting. There are uh, several different kind of cyber sporting, all of which are the illegal. Uh, one is a type of sporting like this one. The uh, type of sporting mean. One of the most prevalent form of our cyber scouting is the type of scouting. In this case, a cyber uh, scouter purchase misspelled uh, misspelled domain name for the well known brand just for the misguiding the people. Okay. In type of scouting, one of the most prevalent form of our cyber scouting is the type of scouting that. In a, in, a, in this case, the cyber scouters purchase misspell domain name for the well known brand on a, on purpose, and the objective is to take user to fraudulently website if they type a domain name incorrectly. Okay, if a user is sometimes is using the incorrectly and they have no about the um, uh, exact spelling and they are basically using the uh, that spelling mistakenly then they will be accessed for instance the following can be considered as a type of spotting like look there yaju you know the name of the what is the main name you have idea i guess that's the one of our famous yahoo yes it is a basically yahoo but some people use as a yaju okay dot com fx news Fox News, okay. Google, now the spelling look the Google, okay. That's the chain. That is a, some example. Student, the some people are ABC News, okay. News just S, okay. That is a something uh, uh, form of a type of sporting example that the we are just using the uh, our cyber sport to basically purchase the domain name look like a uh, that is the basically in the uh, minor change in a spelling that every consumer would known about this don't know about this okay now the second uh now discuss about the second uh, i guess identity identity theft that's the second category of a cyber scouting that uh, cyber scouting can also be a use for identity theft because someone can take a company identity and use it to create a similar uniform resource locators that are using to create a similar uniform resource locator if a url mean to say if a user goes to that company website they may end up on the fake side instead at that point, the cyber spotter has, in fact, stolen the digital identity of their target. The customer, digital customer, the online customer, they will be stolen. For example, suppose your company just announced a joint venture with the, another organization and you have uh, not purchased a URL yet. Your company name is a Sky Computing. And the company you are joining forces uh, with is a Reach Digital, you send out a press release stating that the name of the joint venture will be the Sky Reach. Okay. That is the Sky Computing and the company work you are joining forces with the Reach Digital and the Sky Reach is the name. So that the many organizations just for using URL 
same URL for the uh, for stolen the digital identity of the uh, of of the uh, the real company. It is a identity theft category. Fine. Now the further is a reverse cyber sorting. Look like a reverse engineering. In a reverse domain name hijacking, also known as a reverse cyber sorting. That is a technique <clears throat> that is in a some way the opposite of a cyber sorting. It is the opposite of a cyber sorting. While purchasing a domain name that contain a trademark with the goal of a making money of that trademark is a cyber scouting, reverse domain hijacking is a little different. It will be happen when uh, a person or a business make a false claim that uh, he, she or it's on a trademark and then take a unjustified step to take your legitimate domain name away. Okay, it is a again there was cyber scouting and with the technique we are using some way that the opposite of a cyber scouting while the purchasing a domain name of that contain the trademark with the goal of a making money of the trademark is a cyber scouting okay but the reverse domain hijacking is a little different okay now further is a some example just like uh, that is a one of a famous waller mark 44 point of com this is a this website is a designed to spread the spyware and adware. Main name is the Walmart, but look there the spelling is the Waller Waller Mart forty four. That is a just a spyware and adware. And the Facebook winner winners twenty twenty dot com user who went to this site was greeted with the fake prizes and. Uh, uh, for uh, products that appears to be free. They were also asked to fill out a form providing either their personal data, including date of the birth, how much money they made, email address, and a phone number. Okay. Now the X Fox, not a Fox, X of news, of news. The cyber criminal that created this website copied the name and branding of a Fox News. They then uh, they then use the site to try to shell weight loss supplement. Okay. And uh, if we talk about the TikTok, two men thinking that application TikTok would become a household name. For this URL. In this case, their cyber scouting attempt worked and TikTok's parent company offered to pay $145,000 for the domain name. But the men refused the offer. TikTok filed a complaint and won. Two men thinking that the application TikTok would become a household name. Okay, but for the, this URL, and they also bought a URL, but in this case, the real company of a cyber, uh, that's the form of a cyber sorting and TikTok parent company offered to pay this, but, but they will be refused. And uh, after that, TikTok file and uh, complain and won. Okay, that is a number of things. That is a number of issues we are discussing about the cyber sorting, how the people get the advantage and uh, how they are basically using the domain name just for the parenting uh, to stolen the customer and product and profited of the uh, parent's company. So that is a, some example we are discussing in this chapter, intellectual property and different issues. I uh, hope so you will be understand. Okay. Uh, take care. Allah Hafiz.